Logic gates are fundamental building blocks of all digital circuits. They perform basic logic functions that are essential for digital computation. Logic gates can be classified based on their functionality and the numbers of input they handle. So first we'll see the classification of logic gates by functionality. So as per the functionality the logic gates are classified under three categories. The first is known as basic gates, then universal gates and then arithmetic gates. The first gate under the category of basic gates is known as NOT gate. The symbolic representation of NOT gate is like triangle with the circle at the input. The truth table of NOT gate represents that the output is always opposite than the input. And the same thing that you can see over here. The next gate into the list is known as AND gate. The symbolic representation of AND gate is D shaped with input on the left and the output on the right. Here you can see the truth table of the AND gate. The output will be true or 1 only if all the inputs are 1. Here you can see the last case shows the output 1 because both the inputs are 1. The next gate into the category is OR gate. The symbolic representation of OR gate is like this. It is curved shape with input on left hand side and output on right hand side. This is the truth table of OR gate. The output of OR gate is 1 or true if at least one of the input is 1. Previously in AND gate if all the inputs are 1 we are getting 1 in output. Instead of that in OR gate if at least one of the input is 1 we will get output as 1. Now we will see the next category. This 3 NOT gate, AND gate and OR gate are 3 basic gates. Now the next category is of universal gates. So the first gate in universal gate is NOR gate. The symbolic representation of NOR gate is like this. Curved shape with input on left and the output with a circle on the right. This is the truth table of NOR gate. The output of NOR gate is 1 only if all the inputs are false or if all the inputs are 0. Basically this gate is inverse of OR gate. The next gate into this category is NAND gate. The symbolic representation of NAND gate is like this. It is a D shaped with input on the left hand side and output with a circle on right. Here you can see the truth table of NAND gate. The output is true if at least one of the input is false. Or you can say that it is the inverted output of AND gate. The next gate into the category is from the arithmetic gates. NOR gate and NAND gate are the two types of universal gate. The arithmetic gates are also known as the derived logic gates. Why it is known as derived logic gates? Because these gates are derived from the combinations of universal gate or the combinations of basic gates. So that is why it is known as derived gates. In this category the first gate is XOR gate. The symbolic representation of XOR gate is like this curved shape with an additional curved line at the left hand side where we are providing inputs. This is the truth table of XOR gate. The output of XOR gate is 1 if the inputs are different. This is very easy to understand. When the two inputs are different the output will be 1. So that's how simply we can remember the truth table of XOR gate. The next gate into this category is known as XNOR gate. The symbolic representation of XNOR gate is similar to XOR gate, just additional circle onto the right hand side or output side. This is the truth table of XNOR gate. The output of XNOR gate is 1 if inputs are same. Previously in XOR gate if both the inputs are different then we are getting 1. In XNOR gate it is the inverse of XOR gate. So when both the inputs are same we will get 1 as output. So this was the classification of gates as per their functionality. Now we will see the classification of gates based on the inputs and outputs. So based on that first they are classified as single input logic gates 
and the NOT gate is only one gate which is single input logic gate then there are two input logic gates AND gate, OR gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR gate, XNOR gate all these gates has two inputs on left hand side and one output on right hand side so they can be categorized as two input and even you can find all these gates with multiple inputs three input, four input, multiple inputs so the third category is multiple input logic gates and you will find all these AND gate, OR gate, NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR gate, XNOR gate all these gates are having multiple inputs also so this is the classification based on the inputs of logic gates these logic gates are really important and fundamental block for digital circuits by combining different types of logic gates we can create complex logic circuits this complex logic circuit can be used to build flip-flops and other memory elements and together they can form a larger digital circuits so that is why these gates are the fundamental building blocks of digital circuits. If you have any doubt regarding this, you can ask me in comment section. In upcoming video, we are going to learn how to prepare various logic circuits using these logic gates. So stay connected with this channel and explore different types of playlists on digital electronics. So see you into the next video.